everybody, it's Debbie. Welcome, you're at your home, your happy place. Oh, I just thought, what in the world am I gonna bring you today? <clears throat> I want to bring you my family room. Again, we have not solved our picture problem. I wanna bring you my master bedroom finished, but the pictures haven't arrived. And I don't know, yeah, I've got a little bit more Valentine's, but I kinda of think it's, you know, I don't know. If I do that, I'll just kind of be bonus bonus footage um, uh, later, maybe this week. I have no idea. So I wanted to bring something to you, and I had mentioned this. So um, when I did, uh, I guess, Christmas or even fall in our master bedroom, I used all that beautiful green bedding. So I've brought it all in to this guest bedroom, the other king-size uh, bed that is in our upper room and so I just it you know it looks different with a different bed it looks different with the different things that I'm going to point with it and I just love being able to move things from room to room and then kind of give them a different personality so that's what we're going to do today I'll uh, take the phone around and show you the room it's a disaster okay so this is the room basically um, I'm going to keep that artwork there that we've had up for, uh, gosh, not quite a year. It, it was down in the um, one of the rooms downstairs. But what I am going to do up here, I added these red velvet drapes for Christmas. And before that, all I had were these white ones, which are also velvet. They don't really look it, but they are. And so I bought green ones. So I'm going to show you those, and I'm going to put those up. And then I'm going to make the bed and add my green bedding. And then we'll do a little bit of a pointing. Over here, um, I picked up a couple things up there. I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. And then I've got to just put away all those books and try and come up with some cute decorating ideas. Certain colors, it's really tough. I mean, maybe all colors. I don't know. But greens, for sure. It's really tough to make sure you're getting in the same shade. Um, when somebody says it's sage, maybe it's more olive. You know, those are not the same shades. Um, so anyway, and you know, I had that problem when I first got the bedding and I ordered a quilt from the same shop and ugh, it was very disappointing. Okay, I ordered those red ones, the uh, length. It's okay. I mean, I would have liked, I, now that I'm looking at it, I should have probably got a little longer. Oh, well. They, they uh, are about, oh gosh, five or six inches off the floor. But they're not expensive. They're velvet. Um, I don't even iron them. These look a little wrinkled. I don't even mind it. I kind of like it. <laughs> as long as it's not the folded, fold wrinkles. Because they've been laying over on a bench for a while. Okay, so these are from Amazon, and here's the choices you get. You can put a rod through here, or if you need the length, which I will, I'm going to put the rod through here. And I think that's the difference between the white and the red there. Well, no, I don't think that white one has a big enough hole. I don't know if this, well, it has to be big enough because it's exactly the same. You know, when you go back on Amazon and it says, you've purchased this before in a different variation. That's that's what I did. So this is the color. I think it looks great with the bedding, which you'll see after I make the bed. But I gotta take this down, which isn't easy. Come out. There we go. Whew. Sometimes I do this standing up here, but it's not a good idea. So I'm going to do it down here.
Okay, here we go. You know, I may order the white ones so that <laughs> so that they all have the same uh, top because that doesn't look very uniform, obviously. But I was just using what I had, and now this is the first time I've purchased anything. I think these um, panels, they come in sets of two. They come in multiple lengths, which, again, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Although, yeah, that one may be a little closer. I don't know what I got. 92 or something like that. Maybe I should have done a 96. Um, but I think I might buy the white ones so that I have, you know, that, so that looks better at the top. All right. So now I'm going to make the bed. I've got to go get some sheets. They're just going to be uh, white sheets. I don't have any special sheets to go with this. So I'll make the bed and then we'll get, or I'll put the sheets on and then we'll get the bedding. All right, here I am back with uh, my duvet cover and then the duvet is inside. So this print, I have, I mean, I kind of do this. I was telling you I've got some plates down there, the new plates I bought with the birds on them, but I have it two other colors. So I have this in another color and I'm often fond of another color that they have. So Ballard Designs still has this. They've been carrying this quite a few years. It must be very popular. Um, so I have it in the blue and white. It is stunning, uh, kind of a royal blue and white. And then this green is also beautiful. This green is like the green in the curtains. It is, I mean, they call it sage. Um, I just know that the other things on there that are sage are not quite like it. And in fact, let me, while I've got this in my hand, it'll be real easy to show you. So, you know, I returned the one and ended up buying the scalloped white bedding and with the green. Well, first of all, it's just a little bit of green, so it wouldn't matter if it was way off. But this is way, I mean, it's right smack dab on the, the lighter color. There's two colors of green in, in here. And then um, these pillows that I got on Amazon are really close. And I think they're probably very close to that. Maybe they have the slightest bit of yellow more than this. So I'm not putting a blanket on because... This is one of the hottest rooms in the house. Our furnaces are located above me in the attic. And I don't know why that should make a difference, but boy, oh boy. The sh uh, is it, are they both closed? Yeah, both of the vents in here are closed and it's still hot. So I'm not knowledgeable about HVACs. I don't really know what to do about it. And if you're not familiar with duvets, really, they're like, I mean, if you had something small enough, you could do, you could make your own uh, with sheets. Put two sheets together that you like, you know, if you find a print that you like, and sew them. Just sew the edges and leave an opening so you can slide in a duvet or even a comforter. Some of my duvets are not filled with du duvets per se, but with comforters. So that way you don't have to store your comforters. You're, you're still using them on your bed. You just can't see them. But in some cases, you would see the print underneath, and that would defeat the purpose. All right. I mean, already, let me turn. Already you can see that... You know, the artwork that we have in here, those greens and this, they really, I mean, it really does look nice together. And that's what made me think about it. It was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do some something softer in our bedroom um, for the winter season and into spring. And, and what am I going to do with this? So it's just fun. And the truth is these uh, tables... They often come off as blue. They are gray. So when I put more green with them, they look a little bit more gray. Same thing with this. It is supposed to be, I, well, I don't know. That might, might have been a blue. 
but it comes off, you know, it, 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 they're just in that realm of color that they will take on a little bit of whatever's in the room. So I'm going to pop the pillows on and finish the bed, and then we'll start doing some more appointing in here and see what, what we end up with. I'm going to do this little side table. Um, it's going to be minimal because this is a guest room, but I still want it to look ready. I want to be ready. If somebody happens to be, you know, coming into town and they give us a call, I want to be able to say, oh, don't stay in a hotel, you know, unless they're staying in a really nice resort or something or they're with their family. But sometimes people have to travel here for work and stuff. And, um, I want to be able to just have my door ready to open. So clean sheets, fresh towels, and then I still want it uh, well appointed, uh, but not overdone. So I think about, <laughs> on, in here I think about which side would be girl and boy, but um, I know I picked this up at uh, Avant Garden last year because I can still see a piece of uh, yarn <laughs> needs to be cut off. You guys, I know I've shared this before, but probably only once. So I'll share it again, probably about a year ago. I get so inspired. I love floral um, arrangements so much that I almost uh, took a course to get certified in it. And I still may look into that, but you know, this month I'm going to, this coming month, I'm going to be doing. Um, painting. So <laughs> I can't do it all. But you know what? I don't know. I don't ever think I'm going to be too old to keep learning. There, It's, you know, the course I'm taking for painting is $15. Yes, that doesn't include my supplies, but I already have an easel. And I'm sure that I can afford, you know, a canvas and some paints. So I'm very excited to try that out. And then I am going to put this on my calendar and see, you know, if this year I can also sign up for the course I'm getting certified in this. And I'm going to tell you one other thing. And I've shared this with um, Sandy from Little House on Mallory. Uh, she is a certified, um, oh gosh, aromatherapist. And I looked into that. A lot. Um, some, I also looked into it uh, related to being a massage therapist and things like that. And the hours that you got to put in, not to mention being on your feet and then bending over people. I, I, and then my hands would cramp if I was doing it. But the idea of giving people massages and making them relax and, you know, filling their lungs with the scent of these beautiful oils and things, it, it, it inspires me. That's why I have my own massage table here. And um, you probably don't know that. All three things I've just said. I want to be an artist. <laughs> I want to paint. Um, and if I haven't told you before, I also want to write. And I want to be a floral arranger. And I would like to be an aromatherapist. So you guys, I'm 67. I don't care. <laughs> when you're young, you don't have time for that. And if you have a full-time job, which I did, then you have a part-time job, plus your family. You don't have time for all those things. Right now, I got time to start trying to get some of those things in, and I still am going to have every much joy that I can. So anyway, back to this. I know, I chat, but most of you tell me you love it. So here we are. 
it's hydrangeas and some mixed greens in here. I just think it's lovely, but it really is simple. And for the amount of money I paid, I mean, this would have been a thing that I would have been looking for, you know, and maybe I wouldn't have been as artistic with the sticks and things. Okay, this, so this is my girl side, I think. So I'm putting, I'm putting that there. You can see it. I'll get closer after. And I debated back and forth. Uh, I used these cute little guys. I got these at Hobby Lobby last year. Um, I guess you could use them either way. I used them like this. Actually, I didn't get them at Hobby Lobby. I got them at Michael's because I got the candles at Michael's. The candles uh, are gorgeous, but they won't work in here. They'll work downstairs and or they'll work in my bedroom. They won't work in here. So um, I was thinking about putting something in these, but I didn't know what. And then I found a couple candles. I keep my candles and my soaps in a, a shelf in my laundry room. And so the colors in here are perfect. And I got two of them, so I'm gonna put those over here. Second one's shorter. Where are they from? These are Hobby Lobby. I used to get these type at uh, Michael's, or, um, here one, but yeah, Hobby Lobby has come in and you know, they do do 40% on their candles now and then. So keep your eye out. And lastly, I um, was switching up some books in my sitting room. So I pulled out uh, this devotion book, which says embraced. Um, and it's 100 Devotions to Know God is Holding You Close. So I'm going to set that on the shelf below in case a lady's in here and would like that. Okay, let's go to the other side. Um, this basket was just laying around and these balls, they don't even go together, but... There's a feeling that's in this room and that I think I'm bringing into this room that's got a little bit more of this natural in it along with the green. And this basket also helps bring that in. So for the color and just the texture and everything, I thought that would be lovely and it's more manly than that side. Um, I was gonna get a different men's one, but this color of this one works so well. So. Um, I'm going to keep this men's devotional in here, but underneath. And then this was a, another candle I already had. It's a, so, it's a sand and paws. I don't care. I mean, I guess they've made these con, uh, to really take care of, um, well, it says inspired at Dog Beach on the California coast. I don't know. It's supposed to help with dog smells, I think. I, I don't have any dog smells in here. But, oh, it's called Ocean and Sea Salt. And the color, perfect. So I love the smell and I love the color. And I'm putting that there. Purposefully leaving a little space here so that they can leave their phone, their keys, you know, anything else that they've brought along with them. So, and space. Well, these pull out for um, the little drawers here pull out. So you can put a glass on it, but people don't do that often. Okay, I'll give you a close up.
Now I do have in the house the white bedding that I could fold up here really fluffy. I have a feeling at the moment I don't have enough duvets. I took it out to wash it when I was sick and I ended up using that duvet for a different duvet. I don't know which one. So for now, um, I'm just going to toss uh, one of my gold throws. Uh, you saw this both at Christmas and in the fall. Um, this is something that I picked up at TJ Maxx. Uh, probably for $19.99, and it goes so beautifully with that how uh, that pillow, which unbelievably I bought at Hobby Lobby, which that's a really pretty pillow for there. I think they also have it there in pink, but I am starting to see those at TJ Maxx and Home Goods now. These round ones, they're very um, I want to say 1950s uh, inspired because we used to have pillows like that when I was little. And I was born at the very end of the 50s, but people held on to things for years. So I just remembered that they that we had them. Okay, I have a couple more spots in the room. Um, I have the little table that's here under the mirror that I'll probably keep here, but I could move it over here. Um, but I think it, it looks good there. So, and then I've got a couple things for the top of the chest. I just don't know exactly how that's going to work. But since we had the nail, it's pretty up high. I, um, I'm that girl that I see people in the store holding things up or going on and on about something. And then they leave and I run over to see what was it? What was it? What were they so excited about? Or maybe they put something in their cart and they're at a store like Michael's and there's more of them. Well, yeah, that's that's what happened to me. Actually, I think I can count on my hand uh, three times in the past week that that happened. One was at TJ Maxx with um, clothes. Some ladies were going on and on and on about, I think it was a blue and white shirt. And so I had to go back and look at it and... Yeah, it was soft. There were two of them, so I, I bought one. Um, and then um, the other day when I was there, these ladies were saying, oh my gosh, I love it when two people are shopping because you can hear their conversation and see what they're talking about. And that both cases, it was that. But this one, there was only one lady. I was over at Michael's. I, was, I went there specifically for some frame stuff. And I was hoping to find some little um, wiry... Um, Valentine or Easter type stuff. Now the Easter stuff wasn't on sale, so I didn't even look at it. Valentine stuff was, but they didn't have it. And then they did have some spring Ashland on sale for 40% off. So I see this lady holding something up. I'm like, oh, I need to go check that out. Well, I went over there and I decided, yep, I needed it. So here it is. I haven't cut the tag off. What was it, the cost? It wasn't too bad, I don't think. I'm trying to see where the prices are. Okay, so it was 40% off of $30. You figure it out, I don't want to. <laughs> but it's huge, 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 huge. So it's a canvas and it is distressed. It almost looks like it's got mildew on it. In fact, when I first pulled one out, I went through about five of them and it's like, oh yeah, that's on all of them. So it's really big, it's got the sticks on it, so it's weighted, and then this little simple piece of yarn. And I thought, does this go in here? Absolutely, I didn't even know where I was gonna hang it. You guys, I came home and it's like, oh my gosh, it fits this space exactly perfect, and it's so long, it needs to be hung high, and there's that hook. So if I can reach it. <sighs> Um, yeah, that's the, that's the perfect height for it. Oh my gosh. So I'm just saying it was meant to be, right? Let me pick you up there and see. I mean, you can kind of look in there and see the other things. And I just think it looks great. So yeah, they've got the other, they had two canvases. The other one was eggs, like speckled eggs and stuff, which... You know, I love my birds and my eggs too. So it was it was hard, but I knew 
with these um, ferns on the wall over here and the type of writing that I have with them, it's just all very similar. So it's a really cute look and I'm just thrilled. Uh, these were two other items that they had in that same area. So also 40% off and um, the small one was 15 and the large was 19. So yeah, they weren't too expensive. I might have been able to find something like this at home goods or whatever, but I really liked, uh, I liked that they were the same and, and nesting and really had no idea. I mean, a lot of people would hang these on the wall. I think, I can't remember what it is up there. I think it's sunk down. So I'm probably gonna have to put some books or something in there. I'm thinking about propping it up and then putting some kind of greenery and something in front of it. So we'll see. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll get you closer. The funny thing is, you guys, I'm scrounging around looking for stuff. Um, the little wreath, uh, it's a little bitty olive wreath. That gold piece I have almost given away or sold or something so many times. And yet there's two other pieces of gold in here. So it's a perfect accent. I don't love it, but when it's up there, it's, it's okay. And then that other piece with the yellow flowers on it, it fell out of something that I had. It was a little box. It said herbs on it. And I mean, it's falling apart. It's in the littlest bitty flower pot. But, you know, I hang on to stuff and I'm so glad I did because I think it really is kind of cute up there. And just really, yeah, it's just the needed thing. I mean, it's too high to hang a picture up there. So, all right, I have the table to do and I'll be done. Oh, one more thing. While I was in the basement, I found this rug, which I picked up uh, at TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something this past year. And I don't know the condition of the other one, but I saw today there was one that was outside uh, folded up in the weather and it's the same color. And I didn't have rugs to go on the floor. And while this color is not the same, I mean, we're talking about the floor. So let's see, where's that label? Okay. So this is fine. I need to put um, the non-slip stuff on underneath it. And uh, that'll look great. I'm pretty thrilled with that. Because I didn't have a thing to go on the floor. Was downstairs on the hunt for something for the little table, and I found um, this clock that I have. So I decided to add that up here, and I feel like it kind of widened it and made it more balanced. Plus, that clock I mean, it allows people not that people really use clocks that much anymore, but if you were laying in bed, you could look up and see what time it was. But that clock makes noise. So when I have put it by the bed, people take the batteries out. <laughs> so I'm going to just leave it up there. I think I don't think they can hear it up there. And then here, um, I just took a candlestick holder. And uh, this I was cleaning out a drawer looking for things. And I found this in there, which is, you know, I, I uh, had a link for this. I bought one at a beautiful boutique that is no longer in business. Oh, no, no, I didn't. I bought it at a boutique in St. Louis that is in business. Oh, I'm going to have to visit them next time I'm in town. I love that boutique. But anyway, I actually found it the same thing on Amazon. It um, was by the same company. I will say it wasn't as uh, quite as nice, um, but it was, and it might have been the same price. I don't know. I think it, uh, I can't really remember. Point is, if you're interested, I think I can still find it. And then this is another bouquet that I found while I was scrounging around downstairs. And I've, you know, room to room. I mean, this has been everywhere in the house probably. But when I saw the gold, I thought, okay, I've got my gold there. I've got my gold there. I've got my gold there. And I've got my gold there. So it's my accent color in this room. Not that I chose it. It kind of chose me. And I was in the basement, um, and this was left over, I guess, at Christmas. It was on one of the bookshelves down there waiting for its next assignment. And I thought with the fern or leaves or whatever that are in there, and I love the 
distressing on it. I just thought this would be beautiful here. So that will round me out. So I'm going to get out of here and do um, a, one, a once over.
you know, every day that I do this, it's, um, it is a joy for me. I have to tell you that. And today I knew I was going to record or I was hoping to, because I promised you something for tomorrow. And so I'm recording the day before and, uh, I had no idea what I was going to do. I really didn't. And I just went around my day, you know, cleaning and putting things away and trying to catch up from being sick because I've got a lot of just things everywhere. And um, all of a sudden, uh, I had to stop everything and, and do something that was pressing on me. And I sat down, I think for like two hours, and I, I took care of that. And all of a sudden, it was like, okay, well, you did that. Why don't you go into the room next door? You know, all the pieces are basically there, which, you know, the bedding I knew was in here, but I didn't have the gold blanket. And I didn't change the pictures over here or anything, but I didn't have anything. I'm sliding. <laughs> I'm sliding down the bed. <laughs> Let me get back up here. Um... I didn't have anything on the sides of the tables and I didn't have anything in mind even for this table or up there, nor those pictures over there. So this all came together. And as far as the canvas, yeah, I had just bought that um, either yesterday or the day before. I literally, literally saw a rug like that wadded up and I just went down and picked it up. It's faded on one side, but the other side's fine. It's soaking wet. So my husband's washing it for me. So we'll have one on both sides. But, you know, it was just everything that I already had except uh, the canvas, which I bought just knowing I wanted it for something in the house. And I love this room. It feels finished. It feels custom to me. It feels like it's, I mean, I would love to spend the night or several nights in here. I just think it's really, you know, I don't know. It's those finishing touches. It's like, I was so afraid. And so was my husband for the first, I don't know how many months, maybe into a year of putting holes in the wall. And I mean, we're putting in little bitty nails because those pictures don't weigh anything. Um, now and then we're putting in some big stuff, but you know, that's going to come and go. And so yeah, I didn't use, I, I'm not going to use a um, command strip for that because those aren't going to hold it. So um, it's a little scary, but sometimes when you just go ahead and do it, it's like, wow. So I'm thinking as I'm leaving, all right, I'm going to measure those. So then the next time I get a whim that I'm going to change this up completely, I'll know what size pictures I need to be looking for or or one big long one that will fit there so that I can you know, I just want to be prepared for that. So, because I'm sitting here looking at the mirror, you know, you've seen the mirror in here. It's heavy. So that mirror is not going anywhere. Um, but everything else in here is pretty mobile. Anyway, I hope you had a good time. I hope you got some ideas. Uh, you tell me that you do. I wanted to say something to a couple people because you leave me uh, comments and questions and I think, oh, I'll answer that when I next time I'm on, <laughs> but I forgot right now. So sorry. Um, what am I wearing? Uh, TJ Maxx, of course. Uh, this one I've had for maybe three weeks because I, I wore it to an event already with um, uh, my daughter had, I don't think she has any left, but a pink tulle midi length skirt. And there was a um, well, if you follow me on Instagram, there was a picture of us. I have this sweet little headband I got from her. That sold out right away that night. Uh, it's not a little headband. It's one of those chunky ones. It's pink. And it's got, it looks like it's got the um, Valentine candy on it with the little, you know, writing. I mean, it looks just like it, although they're, they're not candies. And so, um, yeah, it was a fun night. And I wore this sweater then. So I kept thinking, oh, I've already worn it for you guys, but I didn't think I had. So... I'm going to see you again for sure on Tuesday. And what am I bringing you? Um, I believe next week we're going to finish our master bedroom. And I'm going to take you in to the family room, which I've been so excited to bring you. And then extras, you know, they may happen. I'm not going to say anything because if they pop up, you'll know. And you'll know they may not be decorating. Okay, you guys. 
Thank you. If you'll give me a like, I'll appreciate it. You know, um, I really need your likes. I, I was watching the other day and it's like, oh, I'm just not getting enough likes from the number of people, you know, maybe I have two, 3,000 people watch and I get under a hundred likes. Maybe I've gotten 200 before, but it, you have no idea. If you press that like button, they'll recommend my, um, video to other people who have not seen it. That's how I discover people. And I really love it when I discover people because it's hard. You know, you look at, you look for people, um, they come through your feed for a while and then they disappear. And even if you are subscribed to them, you know, I have, I don't know, it says I've got more than a thousand notifications of new videos that I haven't watched. And they aren't all decorating. I mean, they range from you know, how to plant a garden or something. I mean, they could be just anything because if it's, if, if I have a question, I watch it on YouTube, but I'm just asking you, please, please do that. I will link anything that I can um, below. Uh, and then also don't forget to shop my Amazon storefront. All of those links are in the description below the video. Um, follow me if you would on Instagram. I am trying uh, to post. So far, the only posts I've made are the shoppable ones, which are from these videos. Um, but I'm going to start trying to do a few more. It's all new to me, so I'm not very good at it. <laughs> and then Pinterest. I am trying to do, I'm trying to do all those things this year, aside from all those other things I just told you I want to do. So I will see you next week, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend and stay safe. Be blessed. Make your home your happy place. Bye.